just... What the hell? These things, how'd they waste so much plastic to make these things? It, it brought the game industry down as low as it could go. It's proof that Jesus died in vain and legally changed his middle name to fucking... The only thing I could think of to use these things for is to wipe your ass with it. You might as well save that toilet paper. It's worth a whole lot more. Then there's Resident Evil 2. The same thing happens to me when I try to play the real Resident Evil 2. You get about three seconds to figure out the control and a zombie latches himself onto you and kills you. Great! Why'd they have to start you right next to the zombie? Can I get a chance? Turning yourself around is like waiting for a minute hand on a clock. Wow. Look at how badass this game is. Yeah, this is the hot shit right here. You'd be so cool going around wearing this thing. Yeah, you'd be walking around school and you got this on and everybody else is talking about what the new hot game system is going to be. This thing tried to be hip and cutting edge. It had a stylus pen, making it the first touchscreen game console. And PDA features like a phone book, a calendar, a calculator, and a built-in solitaire game. You could even connect a dial-up modem to it to access the internet, text only. I don't believe it myself. Imagine reading your email on this thing. And you'd have to hook it up to a modem so you couldn't leave your house anyway. Why not just use a computer? Anyway, the image gets projected right here. There's supposed to be a piece of reflective plastic here. It's missing, but you could use almost anything. So you put it there and then it projects the game right there. And keep in mind, this was portable, so you'd be going around in public like... Hey guys, how you doing? I'm just playing a game here. Good lord, you thought I was kidding, but it's true. This actually happened. Unlike the Virtual Boy, which causes eye strain and headaches within minutes, this thing does it immediately. Cowabunga. Cow a fucking piece of dog shit. This game is diarrhea coming out of my dick. This game is as appealing as a fucking ooze-infested dirty fucking sewer rat shit. I've had more fun playing with dog turds. Shredders my ass and splinters my balls. This game is an inside-out asshole regurgitating putrid anal fecal matter. I'd rather fucking yank all the hairs out of my scrotum. I'd rather drink diarrhea vomited out of a buffalo's anus. It sucking fucks. It fucking sucks. It fucking blows. It's a piece of shit. And I don't like it. Tiger, on the other hand, continued well into the 90s. In fact, I remember these things being more common in the 90s than ever... They were pouring obsolete games into stores, and we were still buying them. They wouldn't die off. They were like cockroaches. By giving people a cheap alternative, they managed to coexist with the Game Boy. Yeah, this tiger sure rose up to the challenge of its rivals, had the guts, got the glory, went the distance, now it's not gonna stop. It's literally a survivor.